Yeah, it's, uh, it's a tutorial on using some of the Windows networking command line tools uh, for troubleshooting or uh, information gathering and stuff like that. Uh, very basic. Uh, I'm going to be doing a couple of these videos uh, going from the real basics to some of the more advanced uh, commands that you can use. Um, so first we'll start out with ping. Most people have used this utility. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, basically, you can open up a command line, type in CMD, you'll get uh, you'll get a new shell and everything like that. So, uh, with ping, basically uh, you you can ping a, a website, you can ping a host, um, and uh, if it replies, obviously it's it's up and running. So, as you can see, we can ping Google, and uh, we'll get replies. Um, so you see that uh, breaking it down here, it's uh, pinging google.com, so it does a DNS resolution to 74.125.73.99, um, and uh, sends out four, and we get replies back from both. So at the bottom, there's a little bit of a summary right here. We sent four, we received four, and we lost none. So there's a zero percent packet loss. Um, so uh, basically, you can use this to measure. Uh, uh, how long it takes to get a response which will determine latency uh, and things like that if you're getting drop packets there might be some inconsistency or uh, way too much latency to where you actually never get it and it actually drops out um, another tool is trace route this one's very simple it's uh, trace RT in Windows uh, in Linux it's actually spelled out trace route um, so we can do the same thing here to Google. And what this is going to do, this uses ICMP as well uh, as ping, and it will trace the hops, and these are all the routing hops out to google.com. Um, so you'll see my first one here, uh, 192.168.100.1, that's the internal address of my firewall. Uh, 172.25.25.1 is the external address, and as you can see, we're going back out through the network, and we're going to let this finish here. Now, just to note, each one of these hops is actually going through a router and going down a specific route. Okay, so there we go. So it finished, and basically, um, you'll see a count over here on the far left, and there's 15 at the bottom. So there's 15 uh, routers, if you will, between my host and Google.com. Um, and then you can see exactly where it goes from here to there. Now, firewalls that block ICMP, you will actually get a timeout for, um, so say if, uh, if my firewall here was blocking ICMP, the number two uh, would be just a timeout. You wouldn't actually see the address. So this is a f another form of the securing uh, you know, and hiding. Basically, you can block ICMP requests and uh, it will not reply back to the host that ran traceroute. Same with ping, same thing. So basically you, you see uh, 1 through 15 and all the hops that it takes. This tool is good um, for tracking down route issues. So um, you know if you're not sure if uh, you, you're not able to connect to something and uh, maybe it's using dynamic routing, you can run this and see which route it's actually taking. It's a good way to troubleshoot networking issues. Uh, another thing I'll go over here uh, is netstat. And uh, basically, it'll show network statistics, connections, current connections, listening connections, stuff like that. Um, one of the more helpful ones is netstat space minus rn. This shows us our current routing table. Um, you know, list at top to bottom here. 
So you can see our uh, default gateway is normally at the top for Windows, uh, usually at the bottom for Linux or Unix. Um, and, and if you're not familiar with this, uh, I may do another video describing the, the routing table, but there's a lot of information. I'll post some links in the description on understanding routing and routing tables and stuff like that. Um, but basically, the, the main one that you need to know from just a regular user's perspective is the default gateway. Um, it basically says 0.0.0.0, uh, .0 .0, so that's anything, uh, send it to this gateway, which is the upstream firewall. Uh, so that's some of the useful information. Uh, IPv6 shows up. Uh, right now I am not using IPv6. I will do a video in the future on IPv6 and setting it up. Uh, but as of current, I am not using that.